I don't know if you guys are up on this brand, Jinbei products. Jinbei is probably the closest company to Godox in terms of being a Chinese product, being modestly priced and having a full suite of compatible products. The Jinbei lineup is actually pretty sweet and the Orlet products from Adorama are all Jinbei products. So you might not even know that you have a Jinbei product. This is the HD 400 just like the Orlet 400. This would be the HD 610. I've done a review on this. 601 which is pretty much the same as the 610 except I think it doesn't have TTL, but it's pretty similar. This is a small one. This is a 300 watt Mars 3 TTL, they call it. Now this is where they've kind of faced some challenges because they don't have speed lights for all the different brands. They used to have one just like this for Nikon and I just broke it. Now they obviously haven't updated and different ones so that at least connects the Nikon lights but they still need like a Sony version and a Fuji version like they just got to spread their wings more because otherwise it's a pretty nice setup. So this is a Jinbei HD2 so this is a round head very similar to the A1 Profoto A1 that is full master control high speed sync TTL Looks like it's going to work with a TRQ7 transmitter. Really, really nice. It's got this big color display with just all the information. Every, all the modifications are like really quick. Like here I'm switching between high speed sync, front curtain, rear cur curtain, nice and intuitive. Um, here we can change, make it a slave. We can go TTL, we can go manual, adjust the compensation. Um, it has an LED too, which I think is really nice. So that's up top here. Really nice pattern on this LED. Like it's the bulb is way back in there. Feels really nice. Now this is a handmade copy, so it's not going to look exactly like this. It'll probably feel a little bit sturdier. So I'm not going to make any judgments to the build quality because this is only a prototype. It'd be interesting to see how much power it ships with. So this dial on the bottom is really, really nice. It lets you go through and scroll really quickly. This one's a little beat up from probably being shown off. And like I said, it's a sample unit. If I'm just going up and down, it's uh, 10 stop control. Press and hold, boom, full stop. So you can quickly change those powers even though you have 10 stop control. Super intuitive, really nice design. I like that a lot. And then this button on the left controls the different menus. Here's your zooming functionality if you want to increase or decrease the zoom on the head. And one thing I really like about this is the tilt. So you've got your 0 to 90, but then it also tilts back a little bit. So that means if you're an event photographer with this on top of your camera, you don't have to rotate the flash around to tilt it back over your shoulder. You just leave it in the forward orientation and you can tilt it back. I found the zoom function in the menu as well, so it's not going to be restricted to just the top control. You can do it in here too. And inside, let me turn off this LED light as I show you. Okay. This is a magnetic front uh, cube right here, so there's going to be modifiers, of course, available for it. At the bottom is the LED, and it's an Omega flash tube, so it's actually like a bare bulb flash tube inside of a reflector, as opposed to a uh, straight line bar like you would find on a Fresnel head. 